guys. Well, I'm out in the garden. I know I look a mess. We've been fixing fence and feeding cattle and chasing cattle and wading in the creek and everything else this morning. So I'm coming out to test my last um, garden bed. And all I have left is my two rows of okra and the sweet potatoes. And wouldn't you know it, the wind hadn't blown hardly at all today, but it started blowing now. So I'm gonna try to set this up. We're gonna take a peek at the sweet potatoes and see what they look like. And I'm considering going ahead and digging those, if we even got any, I, I don't know yet. And the okra, I think I'm gonna let it go because what pods are on there, I want them to go to seed. So I'll have seed for next year. I'm gonna try to get this set up so we can peek at the sweet potatoes. We may have another garden plop, but remember in this garden bed, I think it's 20 foot long and four foot wide. I had one, two, three, six rows of carrots, watermelon, cantaloupe, and okra and sweet potatoes. So it's been, I've just crammed as much as I could into each garden bed and another experiment. So let's uh, see how they went. Hey guys, I don't know how this is gonna work. And I don't know what you can see. I've got my potato fork here. I'm gonna try to dig back to where the vine is. And yes, I know that sweet potatoes will uh, set down as the vine spreads that uh, more roots will set down. Let's see what we got. May just have a bunch of orange roots. No, no sweet potatoes. Ah! Surprise! And yes, I know you don't normally dig sweet potatoes with a, a potato fork. Looky there. Okay. I'm excited. I didn't think I'd have anything. So, um, I'm going to keep digging here. I'm going to go ahead and pull my vines. I'll whip around and show you what I got. And then when I get them dug up, I'll let you know. The glad th good thing is my soil's kind of dry. And you got to let sweet potatoes set out and cure for several days. So let me get things going and I'll let you know. Well, let me turn the camera around first. Okay, there's my vine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these vines and then I'm gonna start digging. Probably be getting a shovel because that works better than a potato fork. All right, guys, well, I am shocked. I took all my straw off, got the old fart, I mean farmer, and we pulled all the soaker hose out. But look at this. Sweet potatoes here, sweet potatoes there. Oh, you can barely see them. They're over in there. There's some more sticking up. And there's more sticking up here. I don't know what I'm going to have. I, I may just have little tiny tops sticking up, but I'm bringing you all along with me because I'm shocked at this little experiment. Guys, take a look at that. To say that I am surprised would be an understatement. Um, these big ones were from the, what I called the main plant, where I had planted the main one. And if I had another couple months of growing, I know I would have a whole lot more here. So I am very excited at what I grew in my little um, raised bed there. You know, I had a lot of crops on the top. I had my root crop. Okay, here we are in the one south of the house that had the herbs. And I've harvested all my sage, the oregano, 
harvest all the basil yesterday, made pesto, probably made about a gallon of pesto. But now here's our, exper our experiment bean patch. And guys, we've got beans. I knew I'd get a few, but and I, that may be all I get. Okay, these are the pinto beans. And I've got beans on all of these plants. And then down here, oh yes, we have lovely grasshoppers. There's a few beans. Oh, these are some of the yellow bean plants are in there. So I harvested a small bunch of beans a couple days ago and I blanched them and have dehydrated them. And that's what I'm gonna do with these beans because there won't be enough to can. So that's great. The garlic will stay all winter, and I'm gonna plant more garlic. So let's go back over to where we just dug the sweet potatoes and see if I got this more This is carrots. where the sweet potatoes were, and I just went through and dug and turned all the soil. And um, a lot of worms, that's good news. There's my wheelbarrow full of straw that's gonna go back on here so it can, um, Oh, good grief, what's that called? Compost down through the winter. Oh, I got carrots in there I'm going to dig. May not be anything there, we'll see. And then we, I had the old farmer help me and we pulled the soaker hose out. I'm going to go put those away and put my garden hoses away. And all I've got left is my okra. I'm going to let it go to seed. So I think I had a pretty successful garden, especially when uh, quite a bit of it was an experiment for me. Pretty cool. All right, guys, well, got a few little carrots. You saw my sweet potatoes. I've got one little old cherry tomato plant out there. Those usually don't make it in the house. I've already eaten a couple. It's nothing fresher than take it off the vine and pop it in your mouth. And a couple handfuls of beans that I'll throw in the dehydrator. And I'll probably dehydrate the carrots as well. So, time to start putting all my gardening tools away, wrap, wrap up all my hoses, and put my garden to bed for the winter. All right, guys, thanks for joining me with this summer's garden harvest.